I'm going to start a uh, colour along today now that the kids have gone back to school and I've got peace and quiet. Um, but I, ha I have got uh, earache, so my voice sounds a little bit funny. I've got uh, an ear infection, unfortunately. So today I've picked, I don't actually know how you pronounce it, but it's the portraits book of Hannah Carlson. And the picture I've chosen to work on is the very last one. So I'm not going to have to worry about uh, putting a protective sheet over the uh, behind this picture. So I'm going to work on the background first, I think. And I've got my Gansai Tambi colours. I've already dampened them up so they're redder. These are the pearl colours. Six colours in this set. I've got this one and I've got the Gansai Tambi Starry colours. So I'll just start off. I am going to mix both. I'll show you. Mix both of the blue and the green together in points of the picture. So I'll just start off. I'll just check if you need zooming in. I think we'll zoom out for now. And then when it comes to the pencil work and the markers, I'll zoom in then. But I think this should be okay. I actually did this at identical background in one of um, the pictures out of Spirit Animals and that came out beautifully so I'm hoping this will have the same similar effect shot glass of water again I'll try and dip in the green a little bit get them to mix together this is the first time I'm actually working in this book so I am hoping that I don't spoil it. But I think this is the first time that I've filmed for a couple of weeks and it hasn't been raining. More rain in the background. It's nice. So yeah, I dropped Isabelle off this morning at nursery. She was so excited as soon as we turned the corner drop her off she realised where she was. I mean six weeks is a long time uh, for a two and a half year old isn't it? Not being the same routine so I'm really happy that she was happy. I was half expecting her to get upset when I left but I think she was more like yeah bye mum see you later. So I'm happy about that. Let's see what she's like when I pick her up. She'll probably be a moody mess because she'll be tired. It's turning out nice at the moment. So I was writing down um, some more ideas for any possible videos that anybody might like to see. Um, I thought about doing my whole like, supplies collection I think at the moment it would uh, it would take a long time to film it and then edit it. Um, so I think I'll just pop, probably wait until it's actually requested before I do that one. I think I maybe have to split it up over a few videos. I have got quite a a large collection now. I mean, it's took over the whole of the bookshelf that's just at the side of me. And I've got the printer in the cabinet, so that's, that's took that room up. Yeah, I really like this book, actually. I really wish the paper quality of uh, Hannah's other books were like this. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the paper that's actually in there. It's really nice to work on, especially that uh, Spirit Animals book. But this is really thick cardstock paper by the sounds of it. I think it was a little bit more expensive than the usual books. And there is, I think there's 15 pictures that are seen in her other books. So I think I'm just going to keep to the cool colours in this one. I'm going to use uh, markers as a base for everything else. 
Um, and then I'll probably go over the top with some sort of colour pencil. I actually bought, I was meant to pull it out and show you before I started filming, but I forgot. I've got to a case now. My polychromos. I think this case was about fifteen pounds on Amazon. I bought it on the wrong side. Quality is very nice. Keep all my pencils safe. So that's my my set so far. I think I've got 30, 32 out of the one twenty. So it might take me a little while. But I have got a birthday coming up. Uh, November so I know what I'll be asking for yeah it seems to go so quick doesn't it the older you get I'm 32 now and it only seems like yesterday it was Christmas and um, we're only three months away again how does it happen scary so both kids look really nice this morning New uniforms, here's a bad little uh, pigtails in, the shiny new shoes on. Like I said, she was more than happy to go in this morning, I was more than happy to just drop her off. Surgery wise, I'm a lot better, but then like I said, it was a rushed appointment to the doctors tomorrow, uh, yesterday, sorry, because of my ear. So we had to practically run down to the doctors at half past eight in the morning. And they've only given me a uh, spray. I'm not quite sure why he didn't actually just give me the antibiotics. So if it's still painful in a couple of days and off I head again, back to the doctors. I bet you they're sick of seeing me. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, I've not put a protector page at the back because it, it's just the last page, so I don't really need to. It's actually strange being in the house. On my, I'll say on my own, I've still got my two little doggies here. But no uh, children's TV on in the background. No, Lewis can ask him, can he go on the Xbox? Looks nice. They'll be back off school though, won't they? Is it October? I think it's October. They're off for a week around Halloween. We're talking about Halloween. I can't wait to start doing some of my uh, Halloween pictures. I've got the uh, Jasmine Beckett Griffith uh, Halloween book. So I'm really excited to do. I have done one page in there, but do some more. Oh, it's turning out nice, this. I really like these sort of paints. I was only knowing whether to get these ones or the uh, Fine Tech, but the Fine Tech was double the price, and I thought, uh, I can't justify spending nearly 20, 20, I think it was 20 pound or 24 pound the time that I looked on six paints. When these one these ones cost I think nine pound. And I think they're just these ones are just beautiful. I don't obviously know uh, if they would be just as beautiful as the fine tech ones. But I'm glad I chose these. So I will move you down in a minute. Just do this last little bit in the corner. Just got this tiny little bit here. I'm going to have to wait till this dries. I will try and squeeze the painting and possibly the markers, the marker base into one video. Maybe start the, the pencil work, but it just depends how long the video is going to be running for. Because I actually did try and uh, upload, I think it was a 62 minute video and it just made <clears throat> my phone crash and I accidentally deleted the footage so I'll learn from my mistakes and 
not try and upload a video at the moment. It's really long like that. Oh yeah, this ear, this earache is no fun. It sounds like when I'm talking, it's echoing. Really not nice, earache and toothache. Fingers crossed that spray works anyway. I love the shine on these. I'm hoping uh, anyway, my husband's going to be getting a, a gaming laptop. He's talked about it for a little while. I think he'll let me use that to do some editing and then I can use a proper camera to film instead of my phone. Um, I think the quality will be better then. I think the quality of the sound. I'll be able to zoom in and out a lot easier. I'll be able to see what I'm filming properly as I'm filming it. I mean, sometimes when my iPad goes off, because it's connected at the moment here, when that goes off, it's sort of like a guessing game, whether you guys can see it or not. And I hope you like my new intro that I've uh, just made. I wasn't sure whether it looked a bit and sounded a bit silly. Oh, I hope you like it. I'm not Mrs. Technical, really, with uh, all the phone and software stuff. So I was quite impressed with myself that I managed to do that without asking for help. I might have just added a little bit too much water there. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, I'll move you up so you can actually see. You have to paint it out of the way. I think I'm just gonna blot just a little bit. Yeah, cause I didn't want it dripping down the side of the book. That has happened to me before and it's gone through the spine and wrecked a, a few pages. Well, you learn, don't you? Um, I might switch over to my finer brush now to just get around these. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do so. I'll just wash my brush off. It should be okay. It does look dirty, but it is clean. There's nothing I can uh, do about the staining because I've used some darker colours sometimes. So, and this should be better. Well, I wonder what they're going to have Lewis doing on his first day back. First day back in year nine. Year nine, how have I got a 13 year old? Scary. I suppose it'll just more or less be giving out the planners and talking to the children, explaining what's expected of them, telling them what classes they're in. He's actually uh, took art as his GCSE. Well, one of his GCSEs. So I'm hoping that one day he might come down and say, oh, I'll do this with your mum because I need to do it for my GCSEs or can you help me with this? Or, he might be able to show me some new stuff now. Maybe. I'll put a lot of green in there, that's at some point. They really are beautiful, these colours. I can't recommend them enough. doing much else today. Just pick little Isabel up from nursery. And then I think we'll be just going shopping tonight once uh, my husband's home. Nothing special. I think one of my dogs is dreaming. Yeah, it's roll off. She's dreaming. The weather's definitely starting to change now as well. And I actually, actually had to wear, I mean, a decent sized jacket to go out this morning. It was quite breezy. But I'm ready, I'm ready for the autumn to set in now, the uh, dark, dark early nights. 
have your candles on, you can get cosy on the couch, have your blankets, you know, a high low hot chocolate, and obviously you can't have hot chocolate when it's 25, 30 degrees outside, which it has been this summer. Right, shall I do these the same colour? I think I am going to do, because they are in the background, I think. I almost missed this little bit here. Do you ever do that you, when you've, you've done all your background and then you start working on something else and you realise what you've missed? So I'll, I'll zoom you in while it's just a, a little small area. Let's move the camera. Are you going to stay there, camera? No, you're not. Let's move the boot then. Tiny areas here. So what's everybody else doing today? If you've got kids going back to school, what are you doing with yourself? Are you getting all your jobs done? Are you actually just sitting down, enjoying the peace until that all starts again in a few hours? I think I probably, once I've done this, I need to Go and make a start on food later, and that's out the way. I need to dampen the brush up a little bit more. Not the blue here. It's funny stuff this really, because if you do add too much water, it goes quite runny, obviously. But if you don't have enough, it's, it's very dry and thick. And you'll find it hard to spread then. I'll go back and have a little bit more green. And we'll finish it off with green here. I am liking this. I am hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. Might be doing a body colour uh, this weekend, possibly coming up. Um, I won't say with who, but I absolutely love her. Watched all the videos, I sort of speak to her on Facebook and whatnot. Hopefully, we'll both have the time to do it because I've never done a body colour before and I would love to. Right, so are you zoomed in there, yeah? So let's zoom you back out. Clean the brush. I am really happy with that background. There's a tiny, actually, a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit, top right hand corner here. That I'm just going to go over with a bit of blue. I think it looks a bit streaky there. That should help. So I'll let that dry and then we'll come back and do the marker base. So let's make a start on the uh, marker base. I've chose my Spectrum Noir markers, TN1. So this is what I'm going to use to base the whole of the skin. I'm not going to bother messing with the, uh, the circle and marks on the face the same as the background because I will go over the background bubbles with probably Posca pen. That's saving messing round, going around each bubble individually. Probably the same way I'll go over these with a different colour possibly. A colour pencil. Well, I can't recommend these markers enough as well. These are another thing that I really enjoy using. I just need to practice a little bit. Is that close enough or shall I, shall I zoom in there? I just need to practice a little bit with staying in the lines because I forget sometimes that they do bleed. They don't just stay in the place that you originally put them. But that's what all markers do. Yeah. Ever since I got my acrylic nails back on, I seem to hold the pen or pencil Weirdly, 
so I apologise if my hand's in the way. I hope you can see that. I'm determined this month, now that the kids have gone back, to do probably at least 10, 10 pictures, finish 10 pictures this month. Might possibly even have a double spread thrown in there. A good measure. My, um, Joanna Basford's boots, I'm actually giving them away tomorrow. It's one of my friends that's recently started liking colouring. Well, I, I only recently found out anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, she, hopefully, she'll get some use out of them. Because, like I've said before, I don't particularly like the, uh, the small details. I haven't got the patience to be pulling in all them little lines. And I'm actually gonna go over the lips and then there is a, a decent base there for going over with a different colour. I can see uh, I might do blue lips, navy blue lips or green maybe. I have all of as well. Uh, I was showing my husband last night, Ticket to Dreams off Etsy. And it was dispatched last night. I'm so excited. Uh, what are the other ones as well? What's... Oh, completely gone blank. Oh, there's other boots on Etsy. You used to be able to get them on Amazon UK and you can't anymore. The Clara McCover boots. I've looked at them and I have to keep looking at them over and over again but it would cost me with postage over £30 for one book I really can't justify it and there is there's three of them so I, again I know what I'm like once I get one I hate not having the full finished collection on my shelf it makes my eyes hurt <laughs> I hope I've chosen the right skin tone here like I said before, you have to work fast with alcohol markers or they will streak. And usually as well, like I said, with, with this being in um, the very last picture, I can get away with not putting anything at the back because it's literally just a black piece of paper. But if it was any other page, then I'd be putting a protector there. You don't want to be spoiling your next picture. That could potentially be the best one. Almost there. Just a little bit. The side of her ear and then her ear. And yeah, that's her ear, isn't it? Yeah, she's got long earrings there. There's some lovely uh, colour selections in this pack. I did notice though, unfortunately last night, there were, there's one that's um, a little bit dry, but it's fine. I'm trying to zoom you out, that's what I'm doing. The technical issue then with my phone, it would not zoom out. But there we go. Hopefully, you can see everything now. So, I'm gonna do her hair in green, just checking that it's the right green. No, it's not. What was it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's the right green.
Cups don't look. That's not yellow, that's green. But the caps don't match. So this is the other green I was looking for. I think these are seaweed, aren't they? So I probably won't get a chance, unfortunately, to actually finish this picture today. But I will finish it tomorrow, the pencil work. Try and get into a bit of a routine of filming and editing. Still trying to learn. Learn what's what myself. I don't feel like I'm going to be drunk off these fumes. A lot of markers to put there and it stinks. Should have opened a window really. Right, there's three, four here. I don't know what really is a contrasting colour to green, maybe it's orange or red. Can't be red. I might just do the fish in a, a dark red. I haven't got a red in these um spectrum noir markers, but I have got some red. Oh my, oh, who they are quite dark reds. So I think I might stick to pencil with them. And I see what I said before about missing a spot. I'll have to come back to that later. I've got a bit more time. I don't fancy being in a, a mad rush going getting it about. Myself plenty of time. She's going to be starving when she gets home. She still has the uh, afternoon nap. I think she definitely will do today. All the different things we ever do in nursery. We've still got the standing frame at home though, so we'll see how long it takes to get that to nursery so she can use that there. I don't know if I'd mentioned it in uh, videos before, but Isabel was born at uh, 28 weeks. So she was very, very early. Mm, she's uh, got uh, cerebral palsy. I've got four limbs, unfortunately. Her right hand's a lot better than than her left. And she, her legs are okay, but she can't. Um, she can't walk. She can't crawl. She can't uh, sit up unassisted. Well, she can. So why she can? But sometimes she can do it for five minutes, other times ten seconds before she's fallen over. So she can't she can't be trusted. You can't leave her there and leave the room. Um, we've had a stir lift fitted at home. Which if, if I didn't have that I probably wouldn't be able to look after Isabel. I wouldn't be able to manage to get her up and down the stairs. I've got quite a bad knee. Um, and she's got a special chair that gives her the support she needs to be able to sit up comfortably, eat, play, watch TV, etc. Um, and she's got a specially adapted buggy, a snapper. I think that's. Oh no, she's got. Um, an adapted bath seat as well, which to be totally honest, we use that more for downstairs. Helping her sit up and sit at a therapy bench and do work that way with her because in the bath she just loves to just lie down on her back and kick her legs and make as much mess as possible with the water all over the bathroom. She loves it though. I think we might have to start thinking though soon about her. An adapted bed. But unfortunately, we're not one bought a, a full size, brand new single bed, so I'm not too sure what we're going to do with that. Well, I think these greens, do these green colours go really nice with the background? What do you think? Uh, yeah, so that's why it was tough when I had the surgery on my stomach. 
Uh, I had to, uh, my husband had to take a week off work to actually help with her because I was unable to, to lift her and, and care for her. So I still have to be pretty careful at the moment. Like I said, it's getting better each day. It just takes me a little bit longer to do certain things with her. Again, I think with the, the coral, um, I'm going to just stick to pencils, I think, because I want them all different shades, colours. Uh, so I do need to come back and finish this little bit, which I'll do later on. And that's part of the shell. Oh, nearly forgot our eyebrows. The important bit of the face. So yeah, I'll call this video done for now. And hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to completely finish off this picture. See, that's why I love markers, it's so quick. I am gonna use as well once I've finished uh, my gelatos for shading. I absolutely love them, they're so easy to uh, blend out as well, they're fabulous. Right, so I will speak to you tomorrow, well hopefully, fingers crossed tomorrow, in the next video. So take care, bye.